Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to all the panels. My name is Nur Ain Shafinas and my research partner Nur Naziha Adila. We are presenting our research study which is the perceptions of students towards the industrial revolution 4.0 among UITM Seremban students. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to start with the research background. In recent years, the Industrial Revolution 4.0 has become the subject of great interest and are expected to gain a local and international traditions as they become part of the central initiative of different governments. According to HML 2007, the goal of Industrial Revolution 4.0 is to achieve higher efficiency and productivity in operation and a higher level of automation. Forward-looking principles such as the Internet of Things, 3D printing, autonomous vehicle, biotechnology and nanotechnology are embedded within the Industrial Revolution 4.0. There are three factors that influence the perceptions of students towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0 in this research study, which are the knowledge, awareness and the readiness of students to face the transformations in the industry. The purpose of this study is to determine the perception of students towards the readiness of uh, towards the readiness of the industrial revolution 4.0 among UITM Sremban students. Okay, let's move on to the problem statements. According to Farhan 2019, Tansri Dr. Lee Min Fong, lecturer at the Department of Professional Education in UTHM Malaysia, indicates that Malaysian youths is lacking of knowledge to operate with smart technology and has low requirement to navigate through the, through the digital ecosystems and the creativity to produce a digital product. Moreover, uh, according to Pleasure 2020, the level of unemployment in Malaysia from 1999 to 2002, the unemployment rate was about 3.38%. The industry has been a major contributor to the country's gross domestic product. Therefore, this issue has been supported by uh, the former Minister of Education Dr. Mazli Malik, in his statement, he states that due to current challenges by the globalization and the Industrial Revolution 4.0, it can diminish the future job opportunity for the graduates as it seems like no job existing due to low competency uh, in equipped students with the current demands of skills and ability. Furthermore, according to Ujak Par uh, et al. 2020, the research conducted in South Korea shows that learners are aware of Industrial Revolution 4.0 but not aware on its implementations. Besides, a poor connection exists between the command of English by graduates and, our, and their employability in the private sector also one is one of the problems occurs in this research according to the day 2019. Okay, next, I will explain our research questions and research objective in our research study. The first research objective is to examine the relationships uh, between the level of knowledge and perceptions towards the readiness of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 in UITM Seremban. Second, to examine the relationships between the level of awareness and perceptions towards the readiness of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 among, among students in UITM Serban. And the third research objective is to examine the relationships on the level of readiness and perceptions towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. And the last research objective is to identify the significance predictor of the perceptions of Industrial Revolution 4.0 among students in UITM Serbans. Hence, the research questions is the reflections of research objective. On the other hand, this is our conceptual framework. For independent variable, it consists of three variables, which is the first one, the level of knowledge, and second one, the level of awareness, and the last one is the level of readiness uh, of students towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. For our dependent variable, is the perception of students uh, in UITM Strombans towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. 
Okay, for the first independent variable is knowledge. According to Rosanna 2019, students are unable to express or imagine how digital change will affect their of education and their future career. And most of the students have not been introduced well of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 and it might be too focused for the academic program alone to make them ready to work and ready to enter the industry. For the HNAL, for uh, the first uh, independent variable is there is no relationships between the knowledge and the perceptions of students in UITM Stromba towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Next, for the H1 is there is a relationship between the knowledge and the perceptions of students in UITM Seremban towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Moreover, for the second independent variable is awareness. According to Ujapa et al. 2020, the fact that educational institutions prepared for all sectors is more prominent and if the trainees are not prepared with the basis and valuable skills for this industrial revolution 4.0, this could have a negative effect and lead to the more displacement of manpower and technology. For HNAL, for awareness, is there is no relationships between the awareness and the perceptions of students in UITM Suramban towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Next, for the H1, is there is a relationship between the awareness and the perceptions of students in UITM Suramban towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Furthermore, for the third independent variable is readiness. According to the study from Azmi uh, et al. 2018, it shows that low level of self-confidence and attitude issues among graduates were, uh, were one of the issues that caused a readiness concern to the Malaysian graduate unemployment. Next, uh, so, for the HNAL, for the third independent variable is there is no relationships between the readiness and the perceptions of students in UITM Shramban toward the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Meanwhile, for the H1 is there is a relationship between the readiness and the perceptions of students in UITM Shramban towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Thank you, Nur Aisha Finas. I'm Nur Nasya Adila Bintahanizam. I will continue the presentation, which is the research methodology part. For research design, we have chosen the quantitative service study for our research design, whereby it can help the researcher to create a large amount of data for the generalization of the data to be achieved. For unit analysis, the research will focus on students of UFM Sambantri as a unit of analysis that will be the main sources of data. This is because we want to know their perception towards the industrial revolution 4.0 as they will face it in the future. For the sample size, there are 218 number of sample measurements are selected and tested to get data. The total student population at UATM Samba altogether faculties including uh, FSPPP, FSKM and FSR is 5,522 students. But only 360 number of respondents are going to be the sample size for this study. But according to Jack E. Fincham, a response a rate approaching 60% for most research should be the target of the researcher. So we, uh, so our research takes 60% of the 360 of the sample size, which is only 280 students be a respondent of this study. Meanwhile, the researcher uh, choose convenient sampling as a sampling technique because these techniques are time saving, easy to succeed in, cost effective and cheap. This is because we uh, spread our questionnaire through online. Next, for data measurement, we have chosen liquid scale as measurement uh, whereby it will label from 1 to 5 where the 1 is strongly disagree and 5 is strongly uh, agree. For data collection, there are consists of 5 sections where section A is for demography, Section B, Knowledge to the Industrial Revolution 4.0 Section C, Awareness to the Industrial Revolution 4.0 Section D, Readiness of Student to the Industrial Revolution 4.0 And Section E, Perception of Student on Industrial Revolution 4.0 Then the data analysis, the researcher choose a Pearson correlation and multiple regression Then, uh, I will continue to research finding. In the research uh, study will be the uh, demographic profile. The first demographic profile is the gender. So, female has the highest percentage of the gender which are 62.4% uh, which the frequency is 136 uh, respondent. For the age, 
uh, most of them is 21 until 23 years old which is 76.6% and one uh, which is 167 uh, respondent for the current academy most of the student is specialist uh, degree holder which is 81.7% uh, uh, meanwhile, the frequency is 178 uh, respondent. The faculty is FSPPP is the highest uh, percentage which is 55.5%. The frequency is 131 uh, respondent. Most of them is final years, uh, final year student which is 69.3%. Uh, the frequency is 151 uh, respondent. So, uh, the student mostly uh, agree with the in IR 4.0 uh, give impact to their future job which is 99.1% which is 216 uh, respondent. And most of them also uh, agree that uh, the employers uh, put selection criteria based on the non-technical uh, education rather than their grades which is 80.7% uh, which is the frequency is 170 uh, responded. Next, we go to the main finding. Uh, the first objective, the researcher used person correlation and the result is R 0.52C and P is 0 0.00. Since P is uh, less than 0 0.05, so the researcher reject H01 and accept HA1, which is there is a positive relationship between knowledge and perception of student towards IR 4.0. The uh, second objective is the researcher also used person correlation and the result is R0.768 and P0.00 since P is less than 0.05. So the researcher reject H02 and accept the HA2 which is there is a positive relationship between awareness and perception of student towards the IR4.0. The next objective is uh, the researcher used person correlation and the result is 0 0.743 and P is 0 0.00. Since P is less than uh, 0 0.05, so the researcher uh, reject H03 and accepted the HA3. And the uh, last objective is uh, the researcher used multiple regression and the result is R uh, 0 0.666 since the beta for awareness is high which is 0 0.523 and P is 0 0.00 so the awareness of student towards the IR 4.0 is important and posit positively impact the perception of the student towards IR 4.0 then we go to research recommendation the first uh, recommendation is roles of ministry to improve and promote IR 4.0. The ministry plays an important role in spreading awareness and knowledge in IR 4.0. The demand of the industry to boost their production was a new challenge of nation to adapt with it. For example, the Ministry of International Trade and Industry needs to be con about a national platform of uh, framework in place to coordinate programs and structure collaborative and align methods to meet the demands of industry 4.0. So the ministry must prepare well in every aspect to train the student, especially at higher levels such as university students, to be ready in this new era of industry. The next recommendation is commitment of the student. Students should develop themselves to be more ready to enter the industry in this era. To meet the demand of the organization, students must have a good knowledge and skills to be part of the organization. Thus, as a student, the objective of industrial training that has been introduced by the university must be understood well. So, the readiness to enter the industry must start from the student itself to develop their skills and abilities to meet the IR 4.0 requirements. The third is role of the education uh, institution. All education institutions, either university or schools, need to prepare students for the fourth uh, IR for, uh, for industrial revolution. Education institution must educate the student to be more creative and innovative since at the school while university in Malaysia must restructure their education system to be aligned with the demand of the industry. Then we go to research limitation. The first limitation is a uh, limited sample size. Researcher only focus on students of UATM Cemetery, but other universities may have different uh, perception of IR 4.0. The more respondents from other universities, the more accurate the data obtained, and the researcher can uh, see various perceptions from students who have different university backgrounds. Second is generalization of finding. Generalization of finding means the feasibility of researcher to get research finding from other areas. But the researcher only got respondent from the item cemetery students because of time constraint and difficult to get respondent in other university due to the 
MCO implemented by the government. Meanwhile, if researchers conduct research at other university, the possibility of students to get various perception and knowledge of IR photo is increased and the data collected is more accurate. Third is lack of student cooperation. Researchers find it difficult to get responder from students. This is because students do not want to give cooperation and spend some time answering the questionnaire provided. We have to disseminate the questionnaire online, online using WhatsApp application and Google document as our research was done during the MCO period. In, uh, period. So uh, the last uh, limitation is a uh, weakness of quantitative method. Using the quantitative method in research will be complicated, expensive and time consuming to conduct this study. This is because researchers need to distribute questionnaires according to the number of sample size and may, may take time because uh, they want to serve part uh, the number of respondents based on the sample size. Then uh, there are several suggestions for future research. First is apply larger sample size. As a recommendation, researcher can use a larger sample size of respondent. This means researcher can explain the sample size to other university and not just focus on UITM elementary students only. Therefore, researcher should uh, do research on other universities such as UKM, UTM, USM, and so on. This is because researcher can get better student perception of the IR uh, 4.0 from various university students. Second is focus on that uh, data quality. In the future, researchers should focus on data quality and not just focus on data quantity alone. This, this is because if the researcher only focus on quantity, it tends to get inaccurate data and will cause certain errors in the study. Therefore, researchers should focus on the quality of data obtained from the respondent. That is spread questionnaire widely. This means researchers should involve students from other universities in Malaysia and should involve public university and private university. Thus, research conduct at different universities gave a uh, various results of student perception of readiness for the IR program. Oh, last but not, not least, uh, is use qualitative uh, use qualitative method. Researchers are advised to use qualitative uh, method in future research. Qualitative method in research can provide more accurate results and make it easier for students to get responded. This is because using qualitative method in research, researcher can make several direct interviews with respondent and method can encourage uh, uh, researcher to obtain more accurate data. The last section is conclusion. So I will conclude uh, our research study. This research, uh, research study has enlightened the researcher with new information on the relationship between knowledge, awareness, and readiness toward the IR 4.0. This study also gives the researcher an opportunity to develop the responsiveness of students to the current issue in measure towards the IR 4.0. Last but not least, as the study shows an increment between knowledge, awareness, and readiness to the IR 4.0, it proves that this perception is fundamental to the employers to recruit the fresh graduate as their workforce. That's all from us. Thank you.